The G Unit days may be long behind us, but have you ever wondered what former member the game has been up to? Well, back in 2013, the rapper snagged a home in Calabasas, California for $1.5 million, which is the last place we know of him living, and prior to this, he lived in Glendale, California. Today, we'll take a look at what we know about where the game calls home. We even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Jason Terrell Taylor, better known by his stage name, The Game, is a rapper who made a name for himself working with the infamous Dr. Dre. Game rose to fame in 2005 with his successful debut album, The Documentary, which rose to number one on the Billboard charts. He was further placed in the rap group G Unit, but that didn't last long due to his disputes with fellow member 50 Cent. Anyways, at the time of this recording, online sources peg the game's net worth at about $25 million. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one checking out where rapper the game calls home. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Back in 2014, the game sold his former residence for $1.63 million. This was a gated property located in the area of Glendale, California, which is a city in Los Angeles County near Pasadena and Burbank on the map. The rapper purchased the home back in 2005 for $1.9 million according to public records, so it appears he sold it at a slight loss. The home was on the modest size, built back in 1958 but updated since, and boasted an open floor plan with high ceilings and even bright skylights overhead. The game's former crib spanned 4,667 square feet of space over two floors, also offering four bedrooms, five bathrooms, and of course, a games room. According to listing materials, the home was partially remodeled around the time he sold in 2014, and at this time, they added custom closets, surround sound systems, and electrical and appliance upgrades throughout. Looking at photos and videos from the time the game lived here compared to what the house looks like now, we can see it's been redesigned and freshened up a little bit. The exterior is now a subtle blue color, but if you look closely, you can see the lion statue in the front yard is still there. Walking in, the door is surrounded by tropical plants and foliage, and inside the entryway is open concept, with some petite chandeliers and backlighting on the ceiling. The family room or den boasts custom built-ins, and we can see one of the living areas has quite the lavish marble fireplace as well. The gourmet kitchen is fitted with maple cabinets, stainless steel appliances, and a couple bar seats at the island. I'm not a fan of the wood color used here, but they did add a $22,000 Sub-Zero fridge in 2021, and there's an extra fridge elsewhere in the home for more food and drink storage. Additional rooms in the game's former crib included an office and, as I mentioned, a games room where there was a big screen TV and some other bonuses. These days, this room has some workout equipment and a ping pong table. The completely private master suite has a walk-in closet and separate shoe closet, not to mention an entertainment center with another TV. The spacious master bath has some more maple cabinets, a jacuzzi-style tub, and a separate shower. The most impressive part of the rapper's former Glendale home has got to be the outdoor space. It was nice when he was living here, but the more recent owners reportedly spent over 650 k to make the backyard a true entertainer's paradise. These days, the grounds boast a new pool and spa, gazebo with fireplace, sitting area, a full outdoor kitchen with island, two barbecues, and a pizza oven. All of which has been crafted with custom quartzite. Talk about fancy. Sitting at the fully covered bar, there's even a built-in TV to watch sports games and just feel like you're at a resort while elsewhere, you'll find an outdoor shower and bathroom. In 2014, the game slightly upgraded his living situation with the purchase of a mansion in Calabasas, California. This neighborhood is about 30 miles from his former home in Glendale, and it's private and much favored by celebrities alike. In fact, at the time of purchase, the game was linked to none other than Khloe Kardashian, who also lived in Calabasas at the time. Coincidence or not? Anyways, this home cost the rapper about $1.5 million, which was a score considering it was foreclosed on and he snagged it at just the right time. 
His Calabasas abode sits on over two gated acres of land with sought after privacy, surrounded by fruit trees, gardens, and luxury amenities. The Hacienda style home spans 4,132 square feet of space with four beds and five baths. And it was reported the game already started sprucing up the abode right when he moved in. He seemingly added his own style, including black crystal chandeliers, shiny satin details, as well as he turned the dance studio into a games room with new hardwood flooring. Inside the single story home boasts open concept living areas, including a combination great room and kitchen, with high sloped wood ceilings overhead. There are also glass sliders and some skylights throughout for outdoor access and plenty of natural light. While old listing photos show the home with slightly rustic and classic interiors, we can bet that the game fully redecorated to better suit his preferences. The common rooms also have amazing views of the canyon and Santa Monica Mountains, which makes for a definite selling point. One living area boasts double height ceilings as well as a soaring stone fireplace to unwind in front of, while the kitchen is slightly compact but still has an Eden snack bar and extra breakfast nook. Elsewhere there's a small office as well as the game's master suite which has another stone fireplace built into one wall and an attached bath. The ensuite has double vanities, walk-in glass shower and a tub with a view. The game has likely modernized the home a lot since these listing photos, but at least we can get an idea of the property. Other millionaire must-haves include a pool, sauna, tennis court and even room outside for horses. Additionally, there's a casita or guest house, if you will, which boasts sleeping quarters, a bathroom, and its own kitchen for extra space. The landscaping and surroundings of the home are super beautiful, including the front yard and motor court with fountain. While there's also easy access to miles of trails, and the property is close to Malibu and Santa Monica. Rumors surfaced that the game's current home went into foreclosure while he was living here a few years back, but since there was no news of him relocating, we can't be sure. Well, I think that's all I got for the game's house tour. We got to take a peek at the rapper's former home in Glendale, California, as well as his last reported place of residence in Calabasas. While the photos of his most recent home seem a little outdated, which of the two properties was more your style? The homes themselves were around the same size on the inside, but somehow the first place seemed more modest. I think because of the location of the second one, as well as all of the surrounding property it came with, it was a bit more impressive. Once the Glendale home got that epic and expensive backyard facelift though, it was pretty impressive to say the least. I like the Hacienda style of the game's Calabasas house, but I much prefer the resort-like backyard of the first home. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about the rapper's cribs down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.